Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's November 6th, and yes, uh, there is a lot happening in our country, in the United States. Today is voting day, which I like it. It's like each and every one of us have the right and the voice to do a check mark and make a difference. With that said, today is about empowering. Hello, Michael. How are you, dear? I hope I am sounding loud and clear because I am at the most beautiful hilltop near my city. It's uh, at the city of Burbank, uh, the gorgeous, the castaways. It's a beautiful setting and I walk away and I can show you all later but for today I decided to come up here because not only the view is gorgeous but to bring you something different to bring you another view another sense of being open and appreciating all things thank you thank you Michael um, I can always count on you to say exactly what it's what it is if I sound right if I look good everything thank you thank you thank you but today I know it is November 6 I know it is the day of election and of course there are so many people and that are feeling um, they're sitting at the edge of their seats to know what is happening uh, either they're winning or losing our uh, proposition is going to pass or not but isn't that our life I think it, our life is like that every single day uh, we set a goal and we thrive we move forward in achieving that goal and it could be a and that could be a good day, a bad day, a sad day, and a happy day. Being up here in this beautiful place, it's appreciating nature, appreciating humans, appreciating the sound of this beautiful water right here. Hello, Lilia. How are you? So I, I truly think that in life, we get to appreciate the good, the bad, the right, the wrong, all this. Um, it, it's the excitement, the excitement of, of life. Coming so close to Thanksgiving is truly appreciating and being grateful and giving thanks. Giving thanks for being right here. Um, I know at this very moment that I am at this beautiful place, there are people who are commiserating with one another because they lost a loved one. Uh, at the same time, there is a baby being born somewhere else and someone else is in excruciating pain. So we, we all come together to those feelings and being grateful for feeling them even at the time that it's so difficult we want to be grateful because there is a tomorrow there is someone who can hold our hand and I don't know but what is it that you are grateful for uh, I was thinking this morning the things that I have gone through would I want them back an old boyfriend a relationship a lost a lost relationship or even a loved one who is no longer with me here's the thing the more we want that the more we need it that internal need creates this urgency and when we there is this need and we're constantly wanting it we're blocking it so instead of blocking it and saying, I need you to show me a sign, I need you to do this, what if we let go of the need? 
that urgency, that negativity, that uh, tenseness. And we open our hand and we say, I allow this to happen. I allow myself to feel. I allow myself to be open to love again. Because whatever it was in the past, if it was so good, we would not be where we are today. So I think, I truly believe, if we have gone through the experience to let it go, that means just let it go, let it be. If it was so good, you would never, it would have worked out. And there is a saying by Garth Brooks, it's, uh, thank God for unanswered prayers. So if I look back to the person that I saw on Facebook and I thought of him, of the love we had 30 years ago, if it was so right, it would have stayed right. And who knows what brings into our world of being grateful to where I am today, being grateful to where you are today because you are today because that did not happen. You are today because that experience did not continue. You are today because of everything you have done to be where you are today. And if it is sad, then embrace your sadness and say, I now allow myself to let go of this sadness, this feeling of sadness, and I no longer choose to be sad. In my work as a hypnotherapist, um, as a stress management consultant, as a life coach, the first thing I work with my clients is raising the bar of self-esteem and self-worth. Because if I don't believe I have this incredible body, if I don't believe I can make a change in my habit, then no matter what affirmations I use, no matter who the therapist is, I'm going to negate the experience. And no matter how much of an affirmation we do, it's not going to work until you come to allow and believe in what it is that you desire and what it is that you want. So, standing here at this beautiful water fountain, I feel like throwing a, uh, a nickel, a dime, a quarter, and making a wish. So I want to do this with you. I'm going to grab a penny. I think pennies, the color of the penny, the golden, is the most beautiful thing we can do. Here's the penny. So let us do this. Let us come together and we're gonna go to this beautiful, look at this beautiful water fountain, right? So on the count of three, let's make a wish. Open your heart, open and expand your mind and let us be ready for a transformation from the inside out. No one is going to make this a reality. No one is going to come and make me and make you happy. No one can make us happy. They can be our muse. They can help us. They can guide us. They can hold our hand. They can make us laugh and want more. But they can't make us happy. We become happy because of them. But they don't make us happy, right? So, ready to make a wish? Hi, Andy! We're gonna make a wish, and it's not upon the stars, but a wish on this beautiful water fountain. And I think with this, I say a prayer, I say, 
with this nickel, with this penny, with this shining, beautiful, golden penny. I make a wish for abundance, for success, for love. May all who are hurting heal within and make their wishes come true as well. So that wish was not only for me, was also for you, for all of us that are ready to make a change from the inside out and being grateful to all that there is in life. Today I'm going to keep it short because in few days I'm going to come live Oh, the wind. May the wind be with you. Yes. <laughs> so this is what I call allowing, right? Allowing. And yeah, I can't ask for a better sign in life than saying, yes, the spirits and gods, the universe and all that there is to become reality is with us. When we truly feel love, and gratefulness. I look forward to your messages. This message will be repeated on YouTube and also starting January I will be doing all my Heal Talk posts on Heal Within page and one thing I would love from you. Please write me Please send a message. What is the message that you would like to receive? What is it that you would like me to talk about? Because one of the things about hurt is letting go of the pain, but knowing what it is that hurt you. And embrace that thought, that memory, instead of holding it in your body or in your heart. Now, for today, place your hand, this hand, as if we are doing a pledge and make a pledge to yourself that I pledge allegiance to myself, to appreciate and accept myself for who I am and open my heart to all goodness and for the ones who have hurt me right and come this Thanksgiving I give thanks for all that I have experienced and who I am and that's one of the best pledges you can do for yourself now I would truly appreciate if you can PM me, write to me, call me. And it's because of your calls and PMs, messages that I receive that I keep coming back every week. And you know what? Thank you. Thank you for the